Well, good evening, everyone. How are you guys doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm, you can do better. Merry Christmas. First of all, I want to thank all of you for coming over here, taking the times from your crazy schedule, and we all know Christmas is a crazy schedule. Um, it's uh, it's funny because my pastor at church said you just had to pick to pick a time when everybody's busy and do a music project about the biggest guy in the universe at the craziest time of the year. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's only you. Only you would do that. And um, but really, from the bottom of our hearts, on behalf behalf of the band, I want to thank you guys for coming. Uh, first, I want to thank all the sponsors who helped for this show. It's one thing for us to rehearse and put this show on, but it's another thing to bring it up and bring it to you guys. So everybody from CBC and everybody from uh, uh, the Love Life Foundation, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, appreciate it. And, um, yeah. And remember how I was telling you, I, like I was thanking you guys for coming today? It's funny Bob mentioned earlier um, that I was inspired by trans Siberian Orchestra. So I'm actually thankful you all are here because trans Siberian Orchestra is actually at American Airlines today. <laughs> and for the last three years, that has coincided with this show. So, in your face. <laughs> but, um, a little story um, for something I wanted to say. About a year ago, there was a movie that came out in the theaters around this time. And it was a movie about a guy who had a dream and did everything possible to bring that to life. He tried and he failed. And he tried and he failed. And he tried again and he failed again. He, he had little success all every single time. But the, this one time, he decided to go an unconventional route and Everything seemed to work, and it blossomed, and it boomed. And that movie was The Greatest Showman. And uh, when I had, I was, a lot of friends told me, you need to go watch this movie. But um, I delayed it, and I actually watched it in the summer. But I actually heard the music first, and it just captivated me immediately. And there was another person who had a dream. And it was an amazing dream. And that dream was y'all, you, y'all, I'm not even texting, but... <laughs> that dream was you, that dream was me, that dream was all of these guys. And that dream was our Father, for our Father in Heaven. We are His dream come true. And He loved this dream so much that He wanted to be with it. And He made it possible through His Son. And that's why today we are celebrating that crazy, amazing day that at the time nobody knew about but just a few humble people and today this is a celebration of Bethlehem of Ground Zero a celebration of Bethlehem for you and for me of him being born in you and in me the mission of this show was how do you take a classic story and make it culturally relevant as we go every day into our lives and through the years um, we, we tend to see culture trying to like suffocate Christmas and anything religious or anything like that. But, um, hey man, Jesus is cool, okay? Whether you like it or not, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm no saint. I'm no saint, but um, he was the only one who was foretold. He was the only one who came and he said what he was going to do and he did it. And uh, a long time ago, there was a pastor who was preaching, and there was a guy in the congregation that said, I don't believe you in anything that you're saying. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to start my own religion. Someday you could probably come and follow me, too. And he said, um, sure, I'll follow you. How about you die and rise up in three days, and I'll, I'll believe you. <laughs> so, uh, again, once again, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you guys on behalf of all this crazy, crazy, amazing people that you see over here. It really takes a village to put on this show. And um, Jesus had 12 disciples, so I had 15. So. <laughs> but in a, little, in a little while, you're gonna get introduced to all these crazy guys and amazing musicians and singers. But I wanna, I wanna give a shout out to two people, 
Stephanie Bartholomew, and Anne Barnett. They just had additions to their new family.